Hi, I'm Russ. And I'm Meg. And this is Coco. And we're from County Wexford, Ireland. And you're watching Crook and Josh on YouTube. Chevy, diesel. You guys helping me load up the truck? Diesel, you ready to go do some trucking in this? Where? Who's there? Chevy, that's why you don't come with me. You're, you get too scared of new things. And you're a really good protector at home for mom. He's a big boy. Diesel. You haven't been in there yet, I know. So we're skipping ahead a little bit here just for this first clip. The last, uh, or the next three days, we're gonna just combine together into this video here. A lot's been going on. Uh, we got the plates for the truck registered and insured. It's all ready to go. We're waiting on decals, or decals, as, as our American friends like to, like to say it. So now they're supposed to be here on Monday. I don't know, I might be taking another trip in that Volvo 130. Uh, between now and then because on Wednesday uh, it turns out uh, you know that uh, procedure that Brit has uh, To go through uh, it's, it's on Wednesday And I have to be home for Wednesday and the following day to make sure that she's okay It's a pretty invasive one and it, we hear it's a little bit painful It's called an ERA if you're familiar with the whole process if not you can google it if you want I'm not too familiar with it either not enough to explain it to you, but uh, That's this week right in the middle of the week of course Right when we're about to get started in Old Blue. But that's okay. Remember priority number one. Kids and family. So this is for our future kid. Uh, so I'll be home now until next Thursday night or Friday uh, to get this done. But I might take a short trip uh, this weekend in the Volvo. I'm not sure. But this vlog, anyways, starts back on our last trip in the Volvo. So we're going to finish up that day. And then we'll move towards the present time here and I'll meet you back when you get here. I'll, I'll meet you right here when you get here. Good day, everybody. The trip in the Volvo is over. Diesel, are we going home? Is Chevy and mom coming to get us? So we're parking the truck uh, here on the fence at work. Grabbing all of our stuff out of it. Uh, Brit's actually just about here, I think. We're gonna load up the stuff into the train. She's got Chevy with them. And uh, I'm gonna head home. My next trip will be in the Kenworth. Hopefully, uh, we're, we're getting the satellite and stuff installed on Friday. And hopefully the decals will be here by then too. We can install those on Friday. And then my next trip, I guess, would probably be, oh, I'd probably be leaving on Sunday or something. We'll see what we have planned for the weekend. I might even leave uh, on the weekend. Uh, but I think we got stuff going on on Saturday. We'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Anyways, yeah, getting all the stuff packed up. Wanted to be uh, wanted to be ready when she got here, so that we can just quickly load up and go and enjoy. She has the day off today, so I didn't want this to take up her entire day off. I wanted to actually, you know, go home and relax and enjoy the day with her. Yet, you know, and of course, go say hello to Old Blue. I think this week I'm gonna go to uh, uh, a place I know of that creates custom decals. I'm gonna get a couple made uh, that, that say Old Blue, like in cursive writing for the side of the truck. I wanna get uh, the dog's names on the side of the truck as well. My name under the driver window, Britt's name under the passenger window. I wanna get those all uh, printed off as soon as possible. I'll probably get that done this week then while I'm waiting. Good morning, everybody. I got the plates on her. Doesn't have the decals on her yet, but she's got the plates and I can take her out for a spin. So I'm gonna take her to work right now, show her to the guys in the yard there and anyone else who's there. Uh, I've also gotta pick up a few things that I forgot there. So kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna uh, take it for her first official spin. Bobtailing, we're not gonna be pulling anything, but let's go. Rolling. Look at that hood. Now that feels right. That's what trucking's supposed to feel like. So a 
little pickup all my equipment and everything at work uh, like I said I forgot my keys there yesterday and I figured what a great excuse to take the truck out for a spin I got the plates yesterday so I had salt plates so I can drive it on the highway now so why not take the truck out for a rip go show the guys at work pick up my keys and while I'm there I may as well pick up all my equipment all my chains and straps and everything I'm gonna need uh, because I'm an owner operator now I need to pay for those so they'll be uh, deducted off my checks uh, but those chains those straps everything else those binders those belong to me then they belong to this truck we'll figure that all out today uh, tomorrow's Thursday and then Friday I bring the truck back again get the decals put on and I'm hoping I'm gonna let them know I'm available Friday and then uh, Friday afternoon hopefully we can take off on a trip but I'm guessing we'll probably only leave like Sunday because even if I, if I leave on Friday that means it'll be a Monday morning delivery and uh, there's not many places that I'll go to that I would have to leave on Friday. I'll probably leave like Saturday night or Sunday. Well, we'll see what they got for me. All right, let's get this truck on the road. Let's get this truck, well, we have it on the road. Let's get it all deckled up and pulling loads. 2006. A little bit of an upgrade. This is my old truck. I used it in the city. Now we got Kenworth here. I'm gonna get all my equipment. And I gotta keep track of what I'm taking so I gotta mark it all down. This headache rack will be a lot better. You see how the, this one's enclosed? For those of you not familiar with trucking, that one gets all filled with road grime. This one here keeps everything safe inside. Getting her ready for the road. This is the first fuel up. And it's not done yet. <laughs> fun. I'm having fun. I'm not even lying. This is... It's a W900. So heard back about the decals with the decals today they're not going to be until Monday now so Friday the satellites being installed in here and the e-log system and uh, Monday now is when we're expecting the decals that's okay it'll be worth the wait it'll be worth the wait the trucks insured now it's insured it's registered I got plates uh, I just can't haul anything yet until I get all these stickers on here I got the IFTA stickers I just need to, uh, you know, DOT numbers and stuff, name on the doors. As soon as I have those, I can hook up and uh, start hauling. It's still going. It's still going. 600 liters. $1,211.50. To go trucking. Well, that was a fun ride, old blue. And we're back to the present. Wasn't that long of a vlog. There's been a lot going on, so wasn't filming a lot the last couple of days. I was trying to get this thing ready to go. I've got all my stuff here today. Uh, today I've got to throw all my bedding in there, put my GPS in there. I know Karen's gonna come with us. Karen's my GPS. She's very bossy. And get this thing literally ready to go, so that uh, as soon as those decals come in. I can just pull the trigger and I'm gone. I don't want anything holding me up then. This is uh, sort of new to me. I mean, I'm sure I've owned a few other trucks before and I even bought one myself, had to get all the decals done. That was like almost, that was eight years ago already. And I guess I kind of forgot what all goes into registering and getting a commercial vehicle ready for work. There's a lot that goes into it from insurance to registration to plates to DOT numbers to IFTA, like International Free Trade Agreement for fuel tax, or no, no, International Fuel Tax Agreement, right? Or whatever, the fuel tax, uh, the transponders for the border, transponders for Easy Pass when I'm down in the States, uh, permits, blanket permits for across Canada, and permits for where we go through a lot in the US. 
Uh, all of my registration papers. I have a whole binder. It's like this thick. of just papers for this truck. Everything from permits to insurance. Yep. My dad has been very, very anxious. More than usual, actually. Yeah, he's all right. He's a tough cookie like that. You can take it. You can take it. We tough dogs, me and you. Well, he's a Euro dog. Are we not both dogs? I guess we're both humans then. Okay, we're both tough guys. Tough people. Yes. Diesel. I want to show you something. Come here. He hasn't even been in here yet. <laughs> I'm waiting. Everything's still very clean. I'm pretty tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Everything to get done on here. So I already showed you that uh, my name, uh, Trucker Josh, is going to be written in nice cursive font right here. Uh, the truck's name, Old Blue, will be in the same cursive font as that, just bigger, up there. Uh, the Keystone Deckle, just like that red one up there, will be there, except instead of it being red and like black, it'll be just black, black and gray on here. Uh, unit numbers will be at the end of the hood here. They'll be white. It'll be 1237. I'm thinking of getting a uh, uh, aftermarket logo like this for on the hood that glows blue behind it and then blue glow for in the grill as well, obviously. And uh, here I got all kinds of new booklets and papers. These are for taking uh, detailed records of my fuel economy, my fuel ups, my maintenance records, uh, my trips, my mileage, my pay. I get percentage, so I keep track of all of the rates throughout the month, and then when I get my pay stub the next month for the previous month, I match it to mine, so they should match. And then I also judge about how many miles per, miles per gallon I'm burning in fuel, and also how many, uh, uh, what I'm getting paid per mile when I add in all the empty miles and everything as well. I can I keep track of everything, absolutely everything. Got little memo pads here just for little notes to write down addresses real quick when I'm going to customers. Got little sticky notes here just to stick onto the dash for if I need something uh, real quick. This might be dispatch. Oh, you heard that, right? Yeah. Must have been a wrong number. I don't recognize the number at all. But anyways, so yeah, keep detailed records of absolutely everything. And that's why I got all of these books here. They're all color coded. There's green, black, blue, uh, red, and blue. Keep everything organized all the time. Neat and organized. That's how the owner before me treated this truck. He was uh, very, very big on keeping details of, every, of everything, absolutely everything. And I, I wanna continue that on with this truck. This truck is in immaculate condition. It's in beautiful condition for a 2008. The truck itself has 2.8 million kilometers on it. Now, before you freak out, the motor only has 600,000 kilometers on it. So the motor's only got 380,000 miles on it. The truck, look, does this truck look like it has 2.8 million kilometers on it? That would be uh, 1.7 million miles or so, right? Something like that. I have to do the math in my head. But uh, yeah, it's, it's an older truck. It's running a Cummins under the hood. Cummins ISX engine. It does have little, uh, he put little aftermarket, I call them stubby stacks, cause they're like little stubs. I'm gonna, I've already told you I'm gonna change them to be a little bit higher than that, but that's okay. Uh, it looks great the way it is. And like, look, look at how well he took care of it. And <laughs> around our area here, there's a lot of people we know that know the seller. Uh, I didn't know him personally until this uh, transaction, but just from, what little I've gotten to know him so far. He's a he's an absolutely great uh, guy with a lot of integrity and He has a great reputation with all the other drivers around here in town that know him and his friends Every single one of them sang his praises like to the moon and back They all said if you're buying his truck, you know, you're getting a good truck every single one of them Because I, I went to anyone who knew him, right? I said is there anything I should know about this truck or the driver? <laughs> is there anything that I should know before I buy this truck? Is there anything that you would say you might hesitate on even just a little bit? Not one thing. Everybody who knows him said, 
the same thing as I just told you. He keeps immaculate care and immaculate records of everything on the truck. If you're buying his truck, you can, you can sleep good. You're getting a good truck. And if there's anything wrong with it, he'll tell you. And he did, he did tell me a few things that need to be fixed on it. There are a few things that, uh, it's an old truck. And he was honest with me, he told me everything. That, and if there is something uh, big, well, first of all, he went and got it safety inspected for me. I asked him if I could take it to a third party shop. Uh, he said, yeah, he didn't mind. So right there, it shows that he has nothing to hide. And uh, the truck got inspected, passed a fresh safety, passed the inspection. And I know that uh, it, it's gonna be good for me. I have this feeling, I have this gut feeling. I haven't felt like this about any other truck. It could be that it's Kenworth W9 and I, <laughs> I'm a little softy for the W9s, you know? But uh, this truck in particular, I have a really good, good feeling about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I went for it. I'm glad I got it. I jumped at it as quick as I could because I knew it wouldn't be on the market long. I took one look at it, I knew it wouldn't be on the market long. So, uh, it turned out well. I know the problems will arise in the future. I know that. Uh, trucks are problems. Yeah, <laughs> always. Always something to fix on them. Always something going wrong, right? But eh, you fix it, you keep going. Yeah, just so you know, it gets dirty, you wash it off, you go again. Something breaks on it, you fix it. You fix it right, and then you keep going. Do it right the first time and fix things when they're small. Don't wait for them to turn into big things, right? Because if you got one small thing to fix, it may be inconvenient for you, it may be a little expensive, but you got one small thing, you fix it, you're good to go. You let that problem fester, you let that thing grow, suddenly you got another small problem, and then another small problem, and then another small problem, and now all of them put together, you got a big problem. So we're gonna take good care of it, and uh, I'm excited to see what the future has to bring. I got a really good feeling about this. I got a really good feeling. So we're gonna be painting it, but we're gonna be keeping the same color. I love this blue. This truck was everything that I wanted, including the color, the exact color that I wanted to. Now, when we repaint it, it's gonna have a little bit of a different color scheme. We're gonna have fiberglass rear fenders to match. Uh, the frame is gonna be painted and there will be a custom like tribal design along the side, something we'll figure out something that looks good on it. And up on this side, it'll say old blue as well in cursive. And on this door here, I was gonna put Brittany. My wife's name right there. But she actually protested that. She says, no, 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 don't put my name on the door. I'm not your passenger. Diesel. She said, he deserves to have his name on the door. I kind of fought with her about it for a while. I'm like, no, no, you're my wife. Your name goes on the door. That's your seat. She's like, no, it's Diesel's seat. <laughs> so she convinced me I'm putting Diesel right here with some paw prints or something. Diesel, Weasel maybe, Diesel, his name will be on there. And then the rest of the family names will be on the back here somewhere. Guess I'll put like Brittany somewhere. And we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Lots of planning to do, lots of planning to do. Right Chevy? You want your name on the truck here somewhere too? Of course I'm gonna put your name on the truck. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you out. We'll find a spot for you. I was thinking of maybe putting Old Blue up here as well, like in cursive writing, like Old Blue. But I think, I think I would like it best up there, Old Blue. Hmm. I have some time to think, because I haven't ordered those decals yet. I'm just, we just got the ones that I need to, to work. I'm going to uh, run this thing for a month first, because the way it works with owner ops is I have to work for a full month. So all of June, I'll work. I'm not getting paid in June. I don't get a check until mid-July. So I, I work all of June, and then my whole earnings from June gets paid out in two payments the next month. So July 15th and the 30th, I believe, are when my first checks will come in. So I'm running this thing for a whole month and a half, 45 days, with no income coming in. But after that, I mean, you know, then, then you get the ball rolling. So that's something to remember when you're buying a truck. I knew that. It's not that didn't catch me off guard. I knew that. So uh, we're prepared for that. Don't worry about us. We're good. I just like staring at it. 
I really love this truck and uh, you know if the previous owner is watching my videos uh, I know that he he does watch I don't know if you if he's watched for a while or if he just started when he figured out figured out who I was when I was buying the truck uh, but he says he is watching the videos I'm not sure if he's watching this one or not but uh, uh, I don't know if you want me to name you or call you out or not so I won't I'll I'll refer to you as the seller for that reason for now but I want you to know that your truck is in good hands that uh, this has been your baby for eight and a half years and uh, I'm gonna take real good care of her she's gonna be my baby now and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna keep her on the road for a long time yet I'm gonna treat her very well and uh, you can rest assured that she'll be well taken care of and well known. <laughs> people all around the world that know this truck already now. <laughs> so thank you very much for your honesty. Uh, thank you for uh, selling your truck to me. It means a lot to me, this truck, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy to uh, take over the reins from you. You did a, a really good job maintaining this truck and you've really, uh, really gotten a great reputation with everyone who knows you around this area. Really, everybody was singing your praises. So that's good to hear. I hope that one day uh, I can have that same reputation. You know something that would be really cool? Because I said once that, uh, you know, the truck matches my bike. They're both blue, right? <laughs> I forgot that I said that. And I got upset at somebody for like telling him. So somebody asked what color my truck was and somebody's like, oh, it's blue. Because I told you guys it was blue. And I got all upset. I'm like, why are you telling him what color my truck is? That's my surprise. That's my... <laughs> like, don't tell him what color my truck is. And then they remind me. I'm like, uh, Josh, you told them. It was me. So here's my public apology to you, my friend, on Facebook there. I believe your name was Shane. Um, I'm sorry. I, I did say it first. <laughs> you didn't ruin any surprise that I didn't already ruin. Uh, but anyways... Uh, what I want to do, since I got a 650, right? It's a smaller bike. Uh, it's light. I like that. It's a smaller, lighter bike. does everything I need it to do. I want to build, uh, well, when we stretch the frame, these wheels here will be almost at the wall, right? They'll be much further there, and there'll be a huge gap right here. The fifth wheel will only be like over here. So from here, like all of this, this is just going to be open frame. And I'd love to have a custom mount built for my bike like a hydraulic mount that uh, lifts it up i just got to figure out how i would do that with the headache rack because i still have to be able to open the headache rack and get to my chains right there i go dreaming again off in dream world that's where you'll find me but you know me when i go off to dream world i always come back with something i don't leave them in dream world you, you think i'm you think i'm kidding I go to dream world, uh, I bring my dreams back and I make them, make them reality. I find a way. I always do. Anyways, I guess uh, I've been yapping for quite a while here already. Uh, this is the vlog for today. It's kind of a mishmash of the last couple of days. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in our next one. It's going to be a few days yet before we get Old Blue on the road. But that's because we have our priority. Our family comes first. Wednesday and Thursday we got those appointments. Or Wednesday is the appointment. Thursday I have to stick around to keep an eye on her just to make sure she... She's okay. And then Friday. So it'll be a little while yet. But uh, don't worry. Old Blue's coming. Old Blue's coming. Keep, keep tuning in. Keep checking in. I'll keep making videos. And I'll see you in my next one tomorrow. Say goodbye, Old Blue. It's still shy. He'll get used to it.